This week's story is about Moses and it's called Burning Bush, I Am Who I Am. It comes from the third chapter of Exodus, verses 1 through 15. Moses fled from Egypt to Midian because Pharaoh wanted to kill him for killing an Egyptian whom he had caught beating one of the Hebrew slaves. While in Midian, Midian, he met a priest who had seven daughters and married one of them, Sephora. During this time, the Pharaoh died and the Israelites continued to be slaves. They cried out through their prayers to God to deliver them. God heard their prayers and remembered God's covenant with Abraham and with Isaac and with Jacob. Moses was tending the flock of his father-in-law Jethro, the Midian priest. He led the flock to the far side of the desert near Mount Horeb, known as the Mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire within a bush. Moses saw the strange light sight and the spirit of the Lord called to Moses. Moses, Moses, Moses said, here I am. God said, do not come any closer. Take off your sandals for the place where you are standing is holy ground. Just like Moses, when we are in the presence of God, we are gathered in God's name. It is holy ground. So let us take off our shoes. Then God said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. Then God said, I have seen the misery of my people in Egypt. I have heard them cry out to me. So I have come to deliver them, to bring them out of Egypt, to the land flowing with milk and honey. I have chosen to send you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. But Moses was still afraid and asked God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? God told Moses, I will be with you, and this will be a sign to you that it is I who have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this mountain. Moses questioned God again. Suppose I go to the Israelites and say to them, the God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they ask me, what is God's name? Then what should I say to them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you say to the Israelites that I am has sent them, has sent me to you. I am who I am in Hebrew is It can also mean I will be what I will be, or I shall be who I shall be. God said to Moses, this is my name forever. The name by which I am to be remembered from the generation to generation. God did not remain on Mount Horeb. God went with Moses to talk with the Israelites and with Pharaoh to free God's people. What are other names for God that we know? Why is I am different? Why do you think Moses hid his face from God? Have you ever hid your face in awe or in fear?